I'm thankful for my family. Um, the Lord has blessed me uh, with a wonderful wife and kids, and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I'm thankful to be back in church. I missed a couple weeks, and it's just really good to be back with the atmosphere. Thank you for keeping uh, the health for my elderly parents and my sons far from here. So, yeah, really thanks. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank God for our, everything that we have and everything that he does for us. And may we show kindness to those around us, not just those that we like, but to everybody. Thank you for that message this morning. You know, about two years ago, I walked into a doctor's office and he said, I got good news for you and I got bad news for you. And I said, well, why don't you tell me the bad news? He said, then cheer me up with the good news. So he said, okay. He said, the bad news is you have a cancer. He told me what it was, multiple melanoma. I said, oh, well, that's not too bad. What's the good news? And he said, you have, um, it's treatable. And I said, well, that sounds good. I said, well, listen, I said, either God will take me home or I'll be here to drive everybody crazy. And you know, through this whole experience, I have never once heard about it because I can feel the presence of God. So at times when you have problems, look up. You know, God's there waiting for you. Thank you. So hi, um, we have a very special reason to be thankful this year. We're all sisters and our brother, Harold, um, went into the hospital at the end of December and was suffering from multiple myelo myeloma and the situation was grave and they weren't expecting him to come out of the hospital and he couldn't walk and so in the midst of all of this we reached out to everyone in Forest Hills to pray for him and to ask God to do whatever was his will to um, save our brother, hopefully, but if not, then put us in a place where we could accept that. And in that whole transition period of months, little by little, he got better and the prayers continued. And not only ha is he now out of the hospital, but during his time in the hospital, the, the chaplain, the Baptist chaplain visited him and he came to know God. So of all the things that we could possibly dream, this is the best Thanksgiving we could ever ask for. And we thank each and every one of Forest Hills for what they've done to continually pray and reach out so that our brother is still with us today.